Hello everyone, this is Sandeep Chatterjee. I welcome you all to my channel. His name is Amazing Agile. Amazing Agile is a platform where you can learn agile practices, agile theory, some framework, and some beautiful tips. So please subscribe my channel and watch it regularly. Today I brought a beautiful topic that is why we need scaling on multiple Scrum project. There are many software organizations for working for the client and deliver many projects using Scrum or Kanban project, but sometimes they're having some issue because many projects are going on concurrently and not able to manage properly. So this video will help them or give them a valuable tips in case they need to scale them. So now for the next slides, I'll give you some scenario where you need to scale, where you need not to. So let's begin. So here is the software company where they have five clients, client A, B, C, D, and E. So for example, for the client A, they have only one Scrum project. So it is very easy, don't have to worry anything. Again for the client B, there are two projects. Again, it is very easy, don't have to do anything because there may be 20 people, there may be one or two Scrum master, one product owner, so it is easily manageable. You don't have to do anything, go ahead. Client C, there are three projects, two pr Scrum project, one Kanban project. So here also it is same as client B, you need not to worry much, you can manage. But in case of client D, we have four projects. So roughly there are 40 people at least, and two or three Scrum master, product owner, so here managing it a little difficult because there are a lot of people, coordination, four different projects, four different timeline. So you have to be extra careful. I will tell you what to do. And a little more complicated in, in case of client E, that you have five projects. So, so I guess you have more than 50 people. So here, you have to do something, otherwise it is difficult to manage. I will discuss in the next slide, what are the challenges if you have more people and you are not scaling it. So in this case, what you'll do for client D and client E, you have to do a Scrum of Scrum meeting and cross team technical meeting for dependency. So these two meeting additionally you have to do, it is not mentioned in the regular Scrum, but when you do for a multiple projects uh, in, the, in the Scrum platform, you have to do a Scrum of Scrum meeting. Scrum of Scrum means here, all the Scrum master of different project will meet in one point of time and they will discuss about the status of their project, their dependency, roadblock of, the, of their project, and try to find out the solution if they have any. And similarly, for the dependencies from one project to another, because the client is same, delivery is maybe same, so you have to discuss the dependency and accordingly you have to work. So a cross pro project dependency meeting has to be set in place. So this is the situation one, and I'm giving you another scenario where you have only one client. Here your situation is very complicated. You have 15 projects going on for a client A and assume that this is the only client for this software organization. So here, not only the project team, the management, the sales team, marketing team, accounts team, everyone is focusing on this, uh, this client. So in this case, your risk, your dependency, everything is increased and you have to be very extra careful while delivering it because you have, I can see 15 projects are going on and if I say average 10 people, then more than 150 people are working on it. So working for more than 150 people, managing is very tough if you are not scaling it. That means if you are not making it as a uh, enterprise level, organization level. So what are the challenges you do face when you do not have the scaling? Let's see here. The challenge number one, that is too many members to collaborate and manage. Just I discussed why and how. The lack of common goal, the lack of coordination, and the development is not in synchronization. So if you do not scale it, then you do not have any proper coordination between the all 15 teams. So your start date, end date will be different than the other 14. 
and so there is because there is no coordination there is no synchronization between the team unmapped dependency creating problem so you have multiple source of requirement and you are working on your own way you are not discussing with the other team members about your dependency whether there is any uh, discrepancy or not so that's why i just uh, mentioned here you have a multiple source of requirement so you have your product backlog this project has their own product backlog this project has their own product backlog so there could be chance that your requirement may be duplicated or maybe having some ambiguity and the uh, in other projects so whatever the delivery you are doing it may happen that the same requirement here and they are also delivering so as a whole you are wasting your time so that is the biggest challenge so what you have to do you have to bring the senior management in place where they enforce the scale agile practice so if you do not have the senior management focus on the lean dev software development and agile mindset on the organization level or enterprise level you always have this kind of situation this kind of problem so the last one there is no enterprise level innovation of your technology because you are not scaling it so that is the another problem that you are always facing so how to resolve this issue one of the way is you have to install or you have to acquire or you have to implement the scale agile framework in your organization so scale agile is an org organization who brought a beautiful framework its name is safe or scale agile framework where it clearly describe all the issues and they have given a framework they have given a path they have given a consultancy or they have given a road map how to overcome this situation and all the team members here it is if it is 150 no matter 150 or 350 or 400 you can deliver very smoothly following their road map so how the scale agile framework works the scale agile framework is a set of organization and workflow patterns intended to guide enterprise in scaling lean and agile practices safe is designed to help business continually and more efficiently deliver value in the regular and predictable schedule no matter what the team member are or number of teams are so safe mainly focuses on i'm going to tell you this couple of points probably you are not doing it on the regular scrum meeting number 1 agile software development this is you are doing it because this is a regular scrum and kanban project so that means the safe or scale agile framework is based on scrum and kanban so that means whatever you are doing it you keep doing it and keeping the some other points in mind so that you can take the scale agile road map scale agile release train i mean this is called agile release train and product increment planning that is a new thing they have introduced agile release train is a very and uh, uh, i mean the finished way of working i am uh, the next slide i am going to discuss it lean product development and agile mindset what is lean lean means you pick out the most valuable item to deliver eliminating the uh, which are not very value added that means you are filtering the value to most valued product to the client either the smallest amount of time or shortest amount of time keeping the agile mindset that means every corner of the organization not the development team not the scrum master not the product owner everyone in the organization including the top management to the other portion of the supporting uh, groups everyone has to be agile mindset and everyone should think of the organization everyone should think about the client delivery customer centricity that is a agile uh, principle that is a agile manifesto that whatever the activity will do in the agile path it has to be a customer has to be in the center and the, all the activities to the transparent to the customer now lean agile leadership that means the leader of the organization who has to be agile mindset they will enforce the agility to everyone they themselves should be the agile mindset so that they can be the role model of the organization so that everyone can see them and try to enforce it to their their own work they 
they will also key, uh, establish the principle, the safe principle, and the roadmap. That means, in organization level, if the top management is not agile focused, the organization cannot implement safe at any cost. The last one is design thinking. That means, while designing, you should think about what you are doing it. How it works? So, client has given you the requirement and you are doing the design and accordingly the, de 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 the development is happening or delivering it. That is a common practice. But now, SAFE is asking you to think it before designing or while designing. What are those? You understand the problem and give the routes right solution. How? You ask some question to yourself. Is this design I am doing is desirable? That means, is it exactly what this client is saying? You ask the question and see the requirement and understand the problem. Suppose the answer is yes. Then the next question, is it feasible? That means, can I really do that? Do you have the ability to do that? Can I have the technical competency to, to do it? I guess yes. If it is yes, the next question would be, is it viable? That means, can the customer going to accept me, my design, my delivery? Maybe the answer is yes. Then the last question is, is it sustainable? That means, what are the product or pro what are the project I am going to deliver by designing it and developing it? Can it be sustained in the market for a long time? Why uh, this question? Because you are delivering to the client, client is paying money. No. Safe Agile is recommending that if your project, project is accepted by the customer and it is client is happy, try to make this project as your product, your own product. That means you can sell it to the other customer. What an innovative idea that is self is safe is suggesting us. So that is safe. So let's move. What is agile really strain? Now what do you mean by train? Train means a vehicle that has an engine and there are many compartments. So the, the train runs from one station to another. That means trains run from one destination to another destination with all the compartments and within the compartment there are a lot of passengers, different kind of passengers, their logistics, their luggages and everyone is going from one station to another at the same time. So that concept is bringing here by SAFE that, that, that is called Agile Release Train. That means whatever the delivery you are doing with the multiple teams, you all are doing at the same time. No matter whether you have 15 projects going on or 150 projects going on, no matter there is 400 people going on, uh, working on it or 2,000 people working on it, all the activities will be done by them at the same time and delivery will be done at the same time. That is the scale Agile doing through the Agile release train. So let's see, here is our destination and here is the train. And if you see the compartments, I put all the Scrum and Scrum uh, Kanban projects. So if there is a 20 projects, so assume that the compartment is 20 with the engine. Here is the destination, that is the final destination and there is some the station in between. The train has to move to the different thing, assuming that this is your scrum board. So there is a to-do, design, development, testing, demo, pure acceptance done. All those are your station. So the train will go in each station and after that it will go to the final destination. So that is called the agile release train. So guys, I believe uh, this Agile Release Train or ART concept is very clear. Next is, how the SAFE works? So now, assume that this is your project, this is your company, there are 15 projects or 12 projects, whatever is right now. Now, how it will work? So you cannot just live like this uh, together, so there has to be some activity to be added. So, say for this is your train and there are a few additional role going to play by some of the team members which is going to work this, uh, this total activity very smoothly. So, this is called program. So, there has to be some people with the working on the program level. Let's see who are they. One is called Agile Release uh, Train Engineer, that is RTE. So, RT is the basically chief scrum master. Let's see the role. So, he is also a servant leader 
and the chief scrum master for the agile release train manages program kanban i will talk to you later conduct the pi planning and inspection and adapt workshop i will also tell you this thing later point of time and conduct and manage art sync that means managing the entire activity together with the status update the next team member is product management product management is the chief product owner the way the uh, release train engineer is the chief scrum master so he is the chief product owner so responsibility of the product owner is the vision and program uh, backlog pre preparation working with the customer and product owners to understand the requirements and define the program features priorities etc for the product backlog so it happen that every project the product owner is the voice of customer you know and he is the responsible for defining you or giving you the clarification of the requirements to the individual project team similarly this gentleman the product management is responsible for the all the project team members going on under this program umbrella so the product owners of individual team gets clarified the requirements from the product management the next team member is system architect that means it is a big system huge system so there has to be a chief architect who has to manage all the development activities all the design activities through the design thinking so all the development teams those who are in the uh, the solution provider they has to discuss they have to discuss with the system architect so what is his responsibilities responsible for architecture and engineering design of the system and solution validate technology uh, technology assumptions and very interestingly evaluate alternate solutions that means you have a alternate solutions you have to make it your initial or primary uh, design gets fail then you have to think for the alternate immediately so the system architect is responsible and working with all the team members uh, and discuss about the architecture runway next is business owner basically he could be the business owner he is the client he could be the the top management so see the what is his responsibility so primary stakeholder actively working on the art uh, art events clarify doubts connection uh, correction the epics creating the epics responsible for funding and return of investment that means he is the business owner he is the business owner that means he is also enforcing the agile mindset and he is verifying that whether agile mindset is properly implemented or not so he is the chief person he is the main person of the entire program so that is the roles and responsibilities of the scrum uh, safe project for the program or essential safe label so how does it work so here you have a program level backlog so we do not have when you are not scaling it so once you scale it you will ensure that you must be having a program level backlog that is called uh, that is called the feature that means the epic has been divided into multiple features and kept here See, this is called this is the word is called wsjf that means weighted shortage job first that means you have to prioritize your feature based on your highest priority highest value add and uh, nfr is the the technical spike or non functional requirements which are everything will be here and from there all the team members will do their uh, uh, requirements as a form of stories sub task bugs spikes to the individual product backlog so uh, you must understand now that organization level there is a program backlog and the story uh, the team level there is a product backlog in safe terminology they are saying it's a team backlog but team backlog means product backlog that is not a scrum backlog or sprint backlog remember this terminology is very important so organization level it is a product backlog and it is a Pro product uh, pro pro sorry organization level is a pro program backlog and this is the product backlog of individual team how it is being done through this uh, program team by the pi planning the pi planning is the heart of the safe or scale agile framework 
So all the team members, see here, one, two, three, four, five teams, for uh, uh, showing the, uh, the, the illustrating in the, the image. And these are all one, two, three, four, the four iterations or sprint. So in this PI planning event, all the team members sitting in one room or meeting in one platform and discuss about all each other for the features from the Kanban board or program backlog and making the stories here to the individual product backlog and making it a for the next four sprints. Each sprint duration is either two weeks or three weeks. So that they are make for this meeting, they are making a work or they're making a assignment for next four sprint, which is eight or 12 weeks duration. And after that, they are doing a inspection and adapt meeting or workshop. That means basically it is the retrospective of the program. And then again, they are doing the PI planning, whatever the story is left over, they are taking care of, doing the new stories, updating the product backlog, updating the team backlog during PI planning, and so on. So this is the activity uh, the SAFE is recommending to do while scaling it. Now, this is the framework or the big picture for the essential scrum, the only one train scrum. I'm not going to discuss anything else. I'm just giving you a high level vision of the essential save what I just discussed in the, 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 the couple of slides earlier about how it does work and what is your involvement. So guys, you have to take care now whether we need to scale it or not. You only need to scale when you think that you have more than five team members in your uh, five scrum projects and it is difficult to manage maybe it's only scrum of scrum is not helping out then you have to take it this activity the scaling means in the organization level where everybody will the agile mindset and everyone will speak about the agility and lean software development and whatever the points i discussed you have to follow it so i believe it's a good uh, learning I request that you look at it once again to understand better. So I thank you for listening this and watching this video. I hope you have little bit uh, knowledge you gained it through this video. And if you really like it, I request you to encourage me, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe my channel. And if you can ring the bell, then you will get the notification whenever I bring, bring new projects, new slides or new presentation for you. Till then, goodbye.